All right, what's up guys? So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can find profitable ideas off of acquire.com. This is a pretty easy way to find validated ideas and it's a free method. Let's go over it right now. So as a quick side note, one of the new features that was just released in Exploding Insights is the acquired data set. Basically this table has all the acquire startups that are being listed for sale on acquire.com. It gives you the description of the last month's revenue, last month's profit price, and the asking price. And then it also links all the listings. This is like pretty early stage. There isn't too much data yet, but I'm planning to add more and more data as time goes on, but this is just an easy way to do it. I'm going to show you guys how you can do it for free if you don't want to pay for exploding insights. The reason that I like Acquire so much is because it a lot of the sellers will tell you exactly how much money they're making and all the methods that they've used to acquire their customers. I'm on a free Acquire plan and what you can do is you can first go through and list all of the SaaS products. So on Acquire, there are a bunch of other categories like Marketplace, Apps, Shopify, why not? But for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to select SaaS. And then the other key uh, filter that I like to apply is this filter called total gross revenue. So this is the total revenue that they've collected. And from experience, what I found is that if they've made over a hundred thousand, then it's a good indicator that they've achieved product market fit. It saves you a lot of time from working on a product that customers don't want. I would just apply this filter and then there's a bunch of other filters that you can apply, but I found these to be pretty good. So after you apply those filters, you'll get this list of um, products and you can go through each one and look for problem that they're trying to solve. And a lot of other usual metrics are on the page as well. So for this one, even though you don't have the exact product name or the URL, what I like to do is search for the description. So basically here, this thing says that they're a product that sells digital water recirculation marketplace. You, you can just search that and it should be pretty easy to find like what it is like digital waster recirculation marketplace. This one, it probably will require a little bit more digging, but this is essentially the, the pain point that they're trying to solve. And you can see that these guys are not profitable and are losing money. You probably want to skip this one, but let's see for this one. So it's an AI driven social media tool for automating your social media needs. They don't give the exact company name because we're on the free plan. But what you can do is you scroll down and see all of the competitors and just see these guys and get a sense of what type of product they're offering. So you can see that one of their competitors is Sprout Social. You just go in and look at their pricing and kind of the features that they offer. So this is like a social media management CRM type product. Um, pricing it's 199 all the way up to 399 per seat. So this is pretty expensive, but yeah, he, this is like a pretty good way to see like the type of product offering. And then you can see that they've already made over a hundred thousand profit and they will also tell you ways that you can grow their product if you want to acquire their software. So this is pretty useful because if you decide to clone the product or clone it and make it better, these are some ways that you can use to get your first customers, especially since this company says that they've never tried these before. So that's a pretty good uh, idea. And then down here, you can see the number of customers that they've already uh, sold to. So this is just one example. And then let's see for this one here. This one is a um, CRM designed to transform car dealerships with efficient lead management and faster sales closures. This is the um, pain point that they're trying to solve for. And if you scroll down, you will also see a list of all their competitors. What I would do is just go through all these competitors and see the features that they're missing and not missing and use that to make my new software. And here are all the growth opportunities. Again, it's like content marketing, hire a sales team, expand to new markets and a list of other ideas that you can also do to get your first customer. I found that this is a really pretty effective way to find product ideas because one, it's already validated in that they've already got a certain number of customers through some channel already. And two, there is a way for you to, to get your customer. Another way that I like to use acquire to get more ideas is you can 
search for other product ideas on acquire there's like marketplaces mobile apps so you can search for these and you will get a list of all of the other non SaaS listings that are on acquire let's say you're really interested in sh starting a shopify app what you can do is you can click it here and you can see the type of pain point that they're trying to solve for this one they're trying to solve for a discounting they have a shopify app and a ios app and here are like all details about the uh, product itself so you can read it but basically it, it tells you the exact pain point that they're trying to solve for and it gives a good sense of the number of customers that they've already gotten so they've already sold to 900 people and here are all their uh, competitors so you can research them here and here are all the growth opportunities you can see the pattern that you follow when you're trying to research uh, product ideas on acquire so yeah, I would just spend like a day or two on Acquire and get ideas for products that uh, are already valid. And especially if you think you have an edge of either marketing or building the product, then it's worth a shot to spinning up a MVP or prototype over the weekend to just test the waters.